in my presentation uh, about the uh, industrial application uh, of dead bond tree, the secondary and the secondary uh, metabolites by tissue culture technology. Dead bond is a monocotyledon tree belonging to the family race recognized as Phonix dactylifera. Cultivation of dead bond is uh, sought to be merged with cultural, environmental, religious, and social development of people living in hot and arid areas, especially in Middle East and uh, Africa. And it is now successfully being grown commercially in different uh, uh, regions all over the world. Uh, there are uh, many cultivars of date balm that have specific properties in color, size, uh, sweetness, uh, maturity. Uh, it's about um, around over the world, about uh, 5,000 uh, cultivars. Uh, date balm can, uh, date balm fruit, fruit can be consumed um, uh, in fresh uh, or after drying. Um, it has a high nutrition uh, foods for consumers. Uh, date balm tree also possesses a high uh, multipurpose, not only for sugary fruits and their huge uh, nutrition value, but also for the uh, additional utilization for the whole tree biomass. Products proceed from dates like uh, energy powers, syrup, paste, jam, and candies. And also another uh, uh, products uh, from dates by products like uh, energy beverage, vinegar, uh, fermented dates, and also the uh, uh, seeds by products like uh, coffee and oil. Also, the important utilization uh, uh, of uh, whole date balm tree, we know that there is a huge amount of uh, date balm wastes from leaf fronts, uh, trunk, uh, date mesh, and date fruit holders, etc. There is a traditional industry uh, from uh, date balm uh, by, uh, by products like uh, on, uh, from uh, trunk or leaves like uh, rustic furniture, pools and beams, roofing, light uh, food bridges. And by using of the modern industrial technology for processing date balm biomass, um, uh, the huge uh, uh, million tons of uh, fibers uh, can be used in industry applications uh, like biofoil, uh, which produce energy for heat and electricity production, and also biochar, which improvement the agricultural soil and can be used for various purposes. Also, the, there is a date balm uh, bio, uh, biopolymer, a bio uh, polymers fiber. Also, there is a special trend to produce industrial components from dates, fruit, uh, also by biopolymers and biofile and uh, biochar. Uh, special uh, byproducts from date bond is the date bond secondary uh, metabolites. Recently, date bond tissue is gaining intensity in research to develop and produce a large number of commercial important secondary uh, metabolites. First, I will uh, uh, um, I have to uh, uh, mention about the high nutrition value of date bond bioactive compounds or secondary metabolites for a uh, human body. Uh, it's uh, uh, considered as anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, antimicrobial, uh, and also a productive performance, anti-cancer activities, anti-diabetic. Uh, the profile of date bound tissues, uh, the phytochemical profile of date bound tissues uh, there's a primary metabolite and uh, the uh, secondary metabolites. Um, primary metabolites 
carbohydrates, amino acids, fatty acids. It's the main, it's the main metabolite, but secondary metabolite that's which uh, uh, produced from the uh, metabolism of the uh, uh, primary uh, uh, metabolites like phenols, flavonoids, and cyanine, carotenoids, tannins, rotin, and phytosterols. Also, there is minerals, uh, diet, uh, dietary fiber, and vitamins. Uh, there are different date bond tissues rather than dates, fruits have been confirmed to be another source for important secondary metabolites like bowling grain and uh, date bond shoot tip systematic uh, tips. Recently, uh, the problems in uh, biotechnological process of plant culture suggest that the in vitro cell cultures become a viable source for, of important plant bioactive compounds production. The process for obtaining valuable phytochemicals of date bound tissue can be represented as a uh, multi stage technology. First, uh, um, from presented slide, the first step that we have to uh, um, obtain the uh, plant explant uh, from uh, the, the offshoots and uh, the, the tip where it's sterilized, then cultured on special uh, nutrient media to obtain the colorless cultures. Colorless cultures which the, the source or the or, uh, or, um, which the bioactive compounds uh, uh, um, may obtain from uh, from it uh, to enhance the accumulation of this uh, uh, compound in the colorless tissue there is a, we have to uh, supplement like elicitors precursors new uh, and to uh, to optimize the, the nutrient medium and environmental conditions for color sculpture uh, then uh, color sculptures transfer to a liquid uh, nutrient media uh, to uh, agitate the colors and to uh, in, um, obtain more volume for a uh, 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 plant cell which we call uh, cell suspension sculptures. To scale up this uh, amount of, um, of cells um, for commercial and or, uh, or to have a, a, a high amount for bioactive uh, produ uh, production from uh, special uh, secondary products or, or main uh, bioactive compounds, we use the uh, bioactor uh, system uh, as we see in the uh, step four. Uh, then um, there is a, a pro uh, appropriate uh, uh, extraction method for each uh, bioactive uh, used for, um, for each bioactive. We can use a, a special extraction method. Uh, the last step, with uh, equipments to uh, identification and uh, quantification the, um, by GS, GC mass or HLBC equipments. Here some uh, points about the production of bioactive compounds uh, that environment conditions of uh, nutrient cultures may be a factor uh, to induce the accumulation of bioactive compounds in uh, colorless cultures. Also, also uh, the supply of required precursors suitable for each secondary metabolite production or using elicitors. Elicitors generally refer to agents of stress that stimulate the metabolism defense of plant tissues through senses and accumulation secondary metabolites. So elicitors can be divided in two groups, uh, biotic uh, elicitors, which have uh, a biological or uh, origin uh, like pathogens and their der derivatives uh, and also uh, from plant itself poly like polysaccharide or logosaccharide and chitosan which uh, obtained from the chitin uh, shell uh, of uh, uh, shrimp or uh, crab, uh, lobster like that. Also, uh, the uh, pathogens uh, derivatives uh, like a yeast, uh, yeast cell, wall, fungal spore. Also, their uh, organ elicitors 
like plant hormones, uh, salicylic acid or jasmonic acid. Uh, the uh, second group is um, the uh, abiotic elicitors uh, for uh, uh, chemical stress or physical stress by heavy metals uh, or salinity or osmotic stress or by radiation or uh, uh, temperature. Um, some studies conducted for in vitro date bomb secondary metabolite production by different elicitors, like Dr. Taha uh, et al. Uh, try to uh, enhancing total phenol uh, phenolic compounds by, um, by, fungal, by elicitors fungal extracts. And uh, Zayed uh, et al. enhanced uh, steroids by uh, elicitor, uh, metal elicitors. Uh, El Dawati uh, enhanced total steroids by high intensity, uh, by high light intensity. Uh, for secondary products, uh, the most uh, work research has been done by Dr. Sharabasi, who separated and identified the steroid cholesterol and beta cetosterol from the tissue of two cultivars of date palm, zaglul and seaweed by thin layer chromatography and showed that pyruvic acid is the best precursor uh, 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 to enhance and stimulate formation uh, steroid in callus. Also, he found that um, uh, that uh, bioactive system uh, can produce the, uh, the steroids in uh, plant and date bound colors about 40 time, uh, 14 times faster than on solid medium. Commercial production of bioactive compounds of date bound colors as important medicine compounds uh, can be achieved successfully by using bioactive system. The health benefits granted by date bomb lead to a great interest uh, in studying the pharmaceutical industry of their valuable bioactive compounds. Date bomb really is a tree of life. Thank you.